Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show you amazing photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these photos. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof that a small occult elite of arrest and remake the history to fit their narrative. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Benedictus Columbia. The most interesting part is that all of these symbols are only visible under a microscope. A lot of information on the human genetics are strung on the outside of the disc. For the records, spermatozoids were not discovered until 1677, however, the illustrations on the disc depict that such knowledge existed in ancient times. This is an excerpt of the article on mysteriesrunsolved.com. The disc-shaped ancient artifact found in South America is one of the most interesting and puzzling finds of archaeology. The unique relic is made of black stone and measures about 22 centimeters in diameter. It weighs about 2 kilograms. On the disc, there are carvings that describe the astonishing knowledge of our ancestors. The object has been examined in the Museum of Natural History, Vienna, Austria. It was not made of artificial materials like cement, but of lidite, a marine sedimentary rock that is formed in the deep sea. The artifact was discovered in the territory of Colombia and was called the genetic disc. The disc, known as genetic disc, was dated in a prehistoric epoch. Scientists estimate that the disc has been made almost 6,000 years and assigned to the Musca culture. Dr. Vera M. F. Hammer, the expert for precious stones and minerals, analyzed the enigmatic object. The symbols on the disc are very impressive. Both sides of the disc are covered in illustrations of the intrauterine fetal development in all stages. Moreover, a lot of information on human genetics are strung on the outside of the disc. Strange is that this information could not be seen with the naked eye, but under a microscope or other advanced optical instrument. The current level of knowledge of humanity does not allow such a possibility, which induces a certain aura of mystery on how to obtain the information by a culture that did not have the technology to access such information. So, how this knowledge could be known 6,000 years ago? And what other knowledge could have been possessed by the obscure civilization which made the disc? Ceiling inside Dawara Jain Temple, India. Extraordinary creation of finely cut marble. Verse 2 pick, this detail show the 16 Vidyadavas, the dome is composed of 11 concentric bands, five of which contains figures and animals and flower patterns. Located amidst the lush green era valley hills of Mount Abu in Rajasthan, India, the Dawara Temple is the most beautiful pilgrimage site for the Jains. Designed by Vastupal Tejpal and built by Vimal Shah between the 11th and 13th century. By the way, this is a three-headed dragon statue in Russia, representing Zmei Goranich, a fire-breathing dragon that was slayed by the sword of Dobrynya Nikodich in Slavic mythology. Very interesting. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learn something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Swastika is everywhere. Human swastika motif from a Pictish recumbent grave slab at Magal Museum Perthshire, 7th century. Approximately 86 kilometers northeast of the city of Beirut in eastern Lebanon, stands the temple complex of Baalbek. This is a swastika relief on Jupiter temple of this complex. This is the ceramic ceremonial bust of the gods Hera. Pestum, Italy Archaeological Museum of Pestum. The use of the swastika as an African symbol is an established tradition that still flourishes today amongst the Akan or Ashanti people of Western Africa. The swastika is also one of the Akan people's famous Adinkra symbols. 
This is ancient Achim doll with human, solar and tetragamadian, or swastika symbols. Louvre Museum, Paris. This is Celtic priest stone monument. Ireland 4th century AD. The swastika, sun, and moon, painted in red ochre, probably dated back to the Iron Age. Pottery found in Moshe Sykin mud brick pyramid. It's a Hohecum pottery vessel, now on display at the Pueblo Grand Museum in Phoenix, Arizona, was found in the Hohecum village ruins dating to about 4000 AD. Swastika China, Majiao, mid 3rd mil BC funeral urn. This is Artemis with swastikas. Greece, circa 700 BC. On a wall in a Buddhist temple China. Beer with swastika, at Nyingma Tibetan Buddhist Monastery in Bodhgaya. This is pre-Hispanic codex from Mexico with swastika symbol. Purin embossed with swastika. This is ancient Roman silvered bronze swastika brooch, with horse head terminals. This is a 19th century Russian hair accessory, decorated with birds and swastikas, ancient symbols of good luck in Russian culture. Metropolitan Museum of Art. Also, swastika device from Mongolia found in northwest China. Dated circa 13th to 14th century. Nineteenth-century prosthetic hand, London Science Museum. Made from steel and brass, the elbow joint on this artificial arm can be moved by releasing a spring, the top joint of the wrist, rotates and moves up and down, and the fingers can curl up and straighten out. The wearer may have disguised it with a glove. Among the most common causes of amputation throughout the 1800s were injuries received as a result of warfare. On the Altiplano of Peru, at 13,000 feet altitude near Lake Titicaca, there are some perplexing ancient stone towers called chalpas. The interior fit of the stones is as tight as the exterior, with no mortar, clay, or cement being used. Top left. Author Graham Hancock at the Pyramid of the Feathered Serpent, Zachicalco, Mexico. Lower right. Imagery from the tomb of the ancient Egyptian pharaoh Tutankhamun, circa 1323 BC, features the Ouroboros, a serpent consuming its own tail, a symbol of the eternal cycle of life, death, and rebirth. It's intriguing, top right, that the same symbol, in this case of the feathered serpent consuming its own tail, appears at Zachicalco. Zachicalco and the tomb of Tutankhamun are separated by thousands of miles and thousands of years. But, since the feathered serpent Quetzalcoatl appears at Xochicalco as the Lord of Time, how likely is the presence of an Auroboros at this Mexican site to be a coincidence? Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.